In this video, we'll talk about Curriculum Manager. This is where Complete Anatomy really becomes a publishing platform as it allows educators to create lectures and courses using either the content that they've already created or the pre-prepared 3D for medical content. Curriculum Manager is made up of two tabs, courses and lectures. In order to create a course, you must first create a lecture. The first thing to do when you open up your lectures in Curriculum Manager is filter by group. So we can filter by the 3D for Medical group if we wish to look at the 3D for Medical lectures or filter by our own groups. So in this instance, we'll filter by Ellie's content. Now we can see all of the lectures that have been created for this group. And we can also create a new lecture within this group. Creating a lecture is relatively simple. We simply select the green plus icon here. We can add an overview image to our lecture if we wish, but most importantly, we give our lecture a title. And then we add resources. In the same way that our subject matter experts in conjunction with 3D for Medical have created their lectures and courses, I'm going to compile a lecture made up of various screens, recordings, and finally a quiz. Using the filter icon, I'm going to filter by screens, 3D for Medical screens, and all of those screens that are related to the head. Once I have found a screen that I like, I simply select that screen and drag and drop it to the left hand side. Now that I've added a screen, next I'm going to add a recording or a video. Again, once I have found a video that I like, I'm going to simply drag and drop that video to the left hand side. Finally, I'm going to finish off with a quiz. Once I have compiled all of the resources that I want to appear in my lecture, I can simply save the lecture by using the save lecture icon here. I give my lecture a description. I can mention who I want this lecture to be for. I can give it some learning objectives and then finally save the lecture. As you can see, the lecture is saving here. Once it has been saved, I can then use this lecture to create a course. So let's go to the courses tab. Again, the first thing to do when you go to the courses tab is to filter by group. So again, I can filter by the 3D for medical courses if I wish, or I can filter by my own content. Here are some of the courses that I have created. And to create a new course, I simply select the green plus icon. I give my course a title. I can add an image, add authors, a description, some learning outcomes, credits, people who may have helped with the creation of this course or led the lectures included in it. Add an overview video if I wish, and then finally add lectures. Of course, we can divide up our lectures into various modules. And then simply add the lectures by selecting the green plus icon. I choose the lectures and select them. before adding them to my course. Once I have created the course and have all of the lectures that I want to include within that course, I can then save the course. These courses can then be assigned to your students or your groups. How your students perform, whether they complete the course, whether they complete the quizzes or the questions within the course, can then be viewed in assessment dashboard. We will cover assessment dashboard in our next video.